Hey, I wanted to go over the importance of the kettlebell deadlift and also going over some of the key factors into making it more efficient, but also just keeping you safe while doing it. The deadlift is one of the most functional exercises. Every day we're gonna to have to pick something up. So learning how to do that properly is important, as well as by strengthening the backside, what we call this posterior chain, is also gonna help with increasing lower back strength to also help decrease lower back discomfort and pain. So when we're setting up with the kettlebell, what you're gonna end up doing is starting off feet about hip width apart. The handle's gonna go be cutting through the arches of your feet. So one of the big thing is when we're pushing, we're, a lot of times people think pushing through the heels, you actually wanna push through the center of your body, which is gonna be through those arches of your feet. So from there, I wanna stay nice and tall and long. So thinking like there's a rod going from my tailbone to my head as I reach back, finding those hamstrings. From this position, I wanna think shoulders being a little bit in front of, of the actual handle of the kettlebell. I don't wanna be behind it, but actually a little bit in front. And then from there, I'm just gonna think of kind of squeezing those armpits or lats, so I'm staying locked in. And then from there, when I go to lift, I wanna feel those hamstrings and then weight going right through my arches. So I can come here, popping nice and tall. On the finished position, I wanna finish with my glutes squeezed tight. I don't wanna do a sway back. So improper would be more like I'll be far back here, come up and then reaching my hips through versus shoulders a little bit in front. I can feel the weight in my arches, popping tall, big squeeze of the glutes. So by doing that, we'll ensure that we're working the hips and hamstrings not overusing that lower back. So next time you do the deadlift, give these tips a try.